Shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Gotta do it easy. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the to the sit down. Uh, she got M Easy, something like a Luke Fly talk out here, and from across from me, I'm gonna murder your last name, and I apologize now. And so I'm not gonna even take an, an attempt to it. Let's just say Natalie. Natalie Elise Garcia. Elise. Yeah. See, I, I was easier than Garcia. Mm -hmm. They should have put that for me. Sorry. You guys. <laughs> so welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. What brings you? Uh, first off, first off, first off. First off are we coming back with another season of Mob Wives or what? Don't tell me you can't talk about it. I need to hear. Give me give me the tea. Well, I heard that they're talking about a reboot. So, I'm not sure exactly what's happening. So, when people look to their left is when they lie. I don't I, well, I don't really know. I don't know what's going on. I know that Ray, you know, Renee called me and you know said that there was a rumor going around about it and if the possibility if it was to come back would I go back oh, so you got a phone call yeah so I don't know so I'm a little up in the air with that so we'll see I think I think I think we could say there's probably gonna be a, a my wife season or not maybe can, 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 can I you want one? see I'm, I'm the type of person where I I believe it when I see it kind of a thing so you're a mobster that's how mobsters move I get, I, I get it I get it I'm I understand. not a mobster <laughs> I'm so not a mobster <laughs> so that's what we gonna do today we got a my wife telling me she's not a mobster yeah. heard you heard you you didn't watch the show oh my god I'm leaving no I'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> don't do me like that alright so how was it being raised in Philly because you're not a mobster we won't ask you about being growing up mobster because well, you I mean, listen, my cousin was in the mob, so my family kept me away from that. They As kept, they should. Yeah, and they kept my brother away from that, so we know about it. South Philly, that's how it is. Like, I don't know if anyone's ever been to South Philly. I used to do radio in Philly. I don't know if it was South Philly. Concha Honkin was out there and, like, yeah. all that good stuff. So everybody in South Philly always thought they were, like, gangsters. So Just I, like South Jersey. I don't know how South Jersey the, um, <laughs> But yeah, so basically it's pretty much that. I mean, we were raised not in that life, so to stay away from the life. But it was always there. Everybody thinks they're gangsters. They want to be good fellas. Like, so <laughs> actually, I grew up not, that wasn't appealing to me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't appealing to me. Because everybody that. was that. Yeah, because all the guys, and I never dated a guy in South Philly. The only guy I ever dated was the worst fucking, ooh, sorry. Go ahead, you can curse. curse. I can curse. <laughs> was the worst person I ever dated in my life. And he Why was he that? Was gangster. Like it was just like, yo, yo, yo. I'm like, stop, <laughs> stop. It's not cute. Okay, okay. So Natalie's in the building. It's to sit down. She <laughs> made man. I'm easy. Um, it says that you're uh, an advocate. Well, you're uh, very, very against uh, domestic violence. Yeah. Is th does this come from a, a a personal experience? Yeah, I was involved. Um, actually, I had. Uh, a bad relationship with my son's father and my ex-boyfriend. Mm -hmm. um, it was two totally different types of abuse. The first one was more verbal and mental. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some physical, but not as much as how it was with my last boyfriend that I had. Oh, so this is, these are two? Yeah. See, mm. it's, a lot, it's a lot of mental thing. When you're involved in a relationship with domestic violence and you get out of it, sometimes you kind of find another person that does the same thing to you, but in a different way, because you're so used to being treated a certain way, so you kind of like gravitate towards people. I kind of see what you're saying. You know it's it's saying? it's taking one nail and fitting in with it with a with a new nail, but it's yeah. the same yeah. type of nail. I understand yeah. what you mean by that. So it's basically what it was. It was just it was the same type of abuse, but different mm. circumstances. Um, do you think there was something you did to to not you did or something that you're not doing that that are making you get into these type of relationships? Um, well, no, I'm the relationship I'm in now with, with London, I'm, we're still together, we were on the show together. He is the most normal boyfriend I ever had. Like, How do you know so, normal though? Cause he, because I've come from what I came from, <laughs> okay. to that, like it's normal, like he allows me to be myself, he allows me to, to find myself, like he allows me to live, before it was all control can't do this don't wear that don't wear makeup don't show your tits don't why are you wearing that your ass you see your ass but he doesn't do that with me like he lets me live my life and um, we have a respect see I, I i i'm not a gangster or a mobster let me let, let me know we're not doing that we both everybody knows that means he's not a gangster and a mobster but i understand that 
that controlling way of 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 boyfriend thinking. And my as you, my boyfriends were never really. I never dated Italian boys. My, all my boyfriends were Spanish. So the only one Italian boy that I dated was the worst one of them all. I mean, listen, we're all scumbags at the end of the day, man. Like I can't. There's not one race is gonna be any better than that. We all all guys. I mean, it's like, are the well, worst. if you're saying like gangster Italians, and that's like how they are. No, I no. didn't date a gangster Italian. A gangster Italian <laughs> and a gangster guy in Brooklyn is the same type of gangster. It's that's all true. it's all kind of control. It's a, yeah. it's you don't want your woman doing certain type of things. But yeah. as I grew older and, and you 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 tend to realize those aren't fruitful relationships. Yeah, it's got to be a two way street and things got to yeah. grow for it to to be. Um, Copacetic, as they say. Yeah, true. Yeah. So, um, so besides that, excuse me, hair on fleek. What's that? Hair on fleek was my first business I started. But it didn't go too bad. It didn't go too well. I mean, I had, you know, I met somebody that was supposed to help me with marketing, and you know, they rob you. Like you meet bad people along what? the way. What? How much yeah. he rob you for? A lot. So, yeah, he robbed me for a lot. So I just let that business like. It just wasn't fun for me anymore. Once something bad happened to it, I'm like, you know what? I, I can't. Like, So now I'm actually doing, I'm relaunching my brand. And I added a few things to it. So I'm actually doing another hair care line. Okay. Is it still called Hair on Fleek? No, it's called Natalie Elise Beauty. Oh, okay. So now I'm, it's my baby. So now I'm really taking the time to really focus on it, you know, develop the products. Um, right now I'm starting off with my eyelashes and lipsticks. And hair care. Okay, see, this this is this is um man question because I just there's a lot of things I just don't be understanding with makeup, okay. and I would just like a, cl- a clarity on some of it. Tiffany, I want you to chime in too. <laughs> eyelashes. What is the big thing with eyelashes? Why the why the bigger the eyelashes? Why does what well, I don't understand that? They just accentuate yeah, make sure. your eyes. They give your eyes like a different look, yeah. especially like the length. They could be like thicker. They could be like wispier. They could be shorter, longer. Yeah, it just gives you more like a glam look. It's pop. Mm-hmm. It's pop. Yeah. Anybody ask you no questions? <laughs> let the let, let the let the. the why don't Why don't I give you a pair of my lashes or put them on you, and you'll see. It will be like blue. First off. <laughs> first off. <laughs> I'm up for new things. I'll try it. Okay, good. <laughs> but we not we not can't. We, you'll never see that shit. <laughs> you think I'm I'm not out no, here like that? You have to. Wink, wink. I'm I'm up for a good time. I was about to say I'll try anything once, but I'm not really that far. We're not going that far oh, that with would it. Be fun. But um we'll do some fun stuff like that. Next time you're around, yeah. we'll do some Definitely. bring that bring some product and I'll put some eyelashes. Did I just say I'll put some eyelashes on? <laughs> it's on live. It's on live. Okay. Yeah, we, we we might have to get out of this interview. Um, um <laughs> talk to me. Talk to me about uh, being a mortician. Um, well, it was my family's business. I was born and raised in a funeral home. Um, okay, all right, stop right there. Yeah. What did it smell like? Because it didn't smell like dead body. It couldn't smell like dead body, but it had to smell like some kind of chemical. You're asking what smells like what? A, what a dead body smell? No, like? no, what did the, the, the mortuary sound, smell like? The okay. housing, the, the, the building? Oh, well, my house smelled fine. I mean, Hold on, you guys did it in the house? We lived in there. All right, so we had a three-story building. Okay, got you. Go ahead. I was on the third floor. Grandpa lived on the se- second floor, and then the first floor was the funeral parlor. And then in the funeral parlor is where the morgue is in the back. Okay. How old were you when you saw your first dead body? Uh, five. And did you bring your friends to come show them? No, I think... Your brother didn't do that either? No, well... Come well, on! That was... What the hell is that about? <laughs> so, well, no. My first dead body I seen was my grandma. Awesome. Damn. So, so yes. So, God damn it. <laughs> but then after that, of course, yeah, you bring your friends in. Absolutely. Right, so, I used to lock them in the funeral parlor and uh, shut see, the lights see, off God, and I run. Go, see, there you my go. girlfriend you broke her crack arm. It. Come on, man. My girlfriend broke her arm that day. I locked her in there. I shut the lights off and I ran. <laughs> she got so scared. She ran out and it was raining that day. She slipped on the steps and she broke her arm. <laughs> it was terrible. Yeah, I forget how old we are. We're like seven. <laughs> yeah. Seven. I would mm-hmm. if I knew of a mortuary where there's dead bodies. I'm like, yo, son. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, all right. Before we keep talking for hours on hours, um, what is what is the, the last thing you want to tell these people? Um, so, like I said, I'm starting uh, my my new line, Natalie Elise Beauty. Uh, all right. So, if I put these lashes on, I don't want to be on the website. I'm not here like that would be hot modeling men eyebrows. They got you know they wanted me to be on a fashion over model. 
Really? You should do it. Why not? Oh, do it. No, no Fashion Nova has some nice stuff. Don't, Don't do that. I'm not wearing male leggings, fam. It's not male leggings. They have male clothes. Stop clothes. it. Stop it. Back to Natalie. It's you over there. So basically, I'm... <laughs> So um, I'm working with uh, Sharita Martin, Sharita Martin with Creative Minds. Okay. And we came together and we are launching a beauty expo in Philly. So it's going to be. Oh, like when the, is that? It's going to be September 14th and 15th. So we're looking for vendors, people with fashion, anyone that's a fashion line, a hairline, whatever. We want everyone there. And um, with this, I'm going to be taking three women from the domestic violence shelter and doing makeovers on them. Ooh. Yes, yeah, so, I okay. mean, this is going to be a fun, fun experience. And, you know, we are working very, very hard with this. So I'm just hoping it turns out to be like a great event. God willing, it will be. Yeah. Natalie. God bless you. Thank you. Um, the work you're doing is God's work. Like that that, that uh, voice of uh, domestic abuse definitely needs yeah, needs a champion. Everyone's Everyone goes through it. They, they probably don't even know they're going through it. And that's the sad part because it really messes with their minds and... It doesn't. It doesn't go away overnight. It takes years and years of healing. Like I'm still not right from the stuff that happened to me with mm -hmm. you know my ex. But what are you gonna do? Just gotta move on. Live you on. You gotta move on. You gotta be strong. You gotta talk to people who have been through it. How you know how they got out? Because all the situations, some are worse than others. But at the end of the day, you're, it's still the same effect on the person. Mm. So tell them how to get in contact with you if they want to be part of this uh, the situation over there. Uh, for the vendors you, or whatnot. Yeah, so it's gonna it's Natalie Elise Beauty Fashion Expo dot com, or you can go to my Instagram, and the link is in my Instagram at Natalie E Gersio. You might want to spell that Gersio. G U E R C I O. But if you type in Natalie Elise, it should pop up gotcha. real quick. Thank you again for coming through. She's more than just a mob wife. Oh yes, and guess what? I'm starting my podcast too. When? Soon, soon. Well, I'm I'll starting. be waiting for a phone call because that's what we do the eyelashes on your Listen, podcast. Listen, you gotta, you guys gotta come to the bar I'm working at. Where? I'm working at Jimmy's Cafe. You know Jimmy from the Bronx? Yeah, yeah. He just opened up a new spot on uh, in the Meatpacking District. Where? What's the name of it? Five hundred six Ninth Avenue. Jake Write Austin. it down. So, yeah, what night so you there? I'm there like almost every night. So I basically manage the bar. So it's, it's a lot of fun. What? Yeah. Now we out there, Party and that's up. and that's how we're gonna end it. Thank you for coming through, Natalie. This is the <laughs> sit down. Thank you so much. Thank you for the <laughs> Shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Cause I do it easy. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing.